guys welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome to today's vlog i wanted to do a kind of like a january reset a new year reset it's currently january 5th i got back from florida yesterday i also if i sound a little sick i woke up a little sick today and it's making me really upset because i have so much to do we're gonna push through it so i'm sorry if i sound a little weird i thought we could do it together kind of motivate each other because i feel like i'm behind i also feel like there's this pressure with the new year to start making new goals bettering yourself and i know there's no right time to do this like you can do this in june or september you can write down new goals and stuff but there's something about the fresh slate of a new year that i feel like i have to write down goals and write down stuff and implement new things so i thought we could do this together maybe motivate each other or just do something small to start off the new year and start off on this clean slate make it a good start so i wanted to wake up earlier today i wanted to implement waking up earlier and like taking care of my body a little bit and not going on my phone first thing when i wake up but i woke up just not feeling good at all so did not wake up when i wanted to or like get things done like i wanted to but listening to my body so i also redid my notion just a little bit i just changed up like the pictures on it so i'll show you that once i'm done we can go through my notion and what it looks like because a refresh on notion will really do it for me i just feel like the aesthetics of looking at notion motivate me to stay organized and i don't know why but it really does so i'm gonna make a separate page just for my goals and stuff so i'm gonna do that personal and reading goals rather than work goals. I feel like reading goals and work goals can kind of intertwine sometimes, but here are like my top goals that I would like to do. There's a lot on here. I have like 18 goals that I would like, but talking about personal ones and talking about goals in general, I kind of just wanted to write down things for myself in 2024 to help better myself and make me feel better and do things for myself. That's kind of like my overall goal of the year is just to do things for myself and make myself happier and happiest I can be this year. And that actually leads me into the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. I want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. So like I said, each year on my goal list, I always want to better my mental health just to improve it and do things, like I said, to help it. Even just reading or doing things that make me happy when it comes to personal things, just talking to someone can ease my mental state. There are so many ways to help out. BetterHelp connects you to a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. So I know from personal experience, starting therapy is difficult. Finding the right therapist for you is difficult, especially talking to someone new, having a face-to-face -face interaction. It could be uncomfortable. The great thing about BetterHelp, you can have therapy sessions as a phone call, a video chat, or even a text message. You don't need to meet face to face with anyone. So you can choose whichever method you prefer personally, whatever's the most comfortable version of therapy for you. So if you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. You can click the link in my description or visit the website. All of that information is in the description. They can match you with over 30,000 therapists in their network. So if you want to start talking to one, whichever method you choose, and you don't vibe with them, you can switch over to a different therapist and find one that's right for you. It gives you a wider range of expertise that may be available in your area. So to get started, you fill out a questionnaire that helps assess your specific needs and then you'll get matched with your therapist in most cases within 48 hours or less. You'll be able to schedule therapy sessions at a time that's convenient for you. And if the therapist you're first match with doesn't feel right, like I said, it could be common when starting therapy. You can easily switch to a new therapist, no additional cost, no stressing about insurance or who's in your network or anything like that. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier and happier life. So again, if you guys are interested at all and think you may benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp and click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash Caroli for a 10% discount on your first month of therapy with a licensed professional specific to your needs. Again, thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video and now into some of the goals that I personally set for this year. Personal ones specifically, I want to wake up earlier on weekdays and doing this, I want to try to not work on weekends because with me and with the job that I'm doing, it's easy for me to work 24 seven. Like I don't stop. I also want to try to stop working at like five, six o'clock. Like I will go all day long editing, filming, recording, like all of that. I just feel like there's no stop time. I feel like I'm always working. And obviously I'm gonna be lenient with all of this. Like if I have to finish something on a weekend, I'll do it. If I want to work past six o'clock, I'll do it. It's just, I'm gonna try to do this. With that being said, I want to say yes to doing things more with my friends and stuff. Not that I didn't, but I do feel like I'm a lot busier and make myself a lot busier. And I want to kind of slow down that and still do what I was doing last year, but try to, you know, wake up earlier during the week to compensate for that. Or yeah, try not to work on the weekends and do some more stuff 
stuff in my personal life and then i have like the average ones that i write down every year like working out three to four times a week eating healthy which i want a food shop not today because i don't really feel that good if i feel better later after i take my medicine maybe we'll go There's some stuff i want to get but another one i have is making my own decisions which is kind of like a general statement but i'm very indecisive like i will ask everyone what i should do before i make my own decision and that kind of deters and steers me towards what i should do so i want to make my own decision i'm very indecisive i'm gonna try to be decisive this year and then there's a few just random ones i want to learn how to crochet i'm gonna open those packages later i think there's a crochet kit in there maybe we'll start that in this video i want to use my polaroid more i have a polaroid that i've had for so long i want to start using it i feel like that could be cute just having pictures maybe make a little scrapbook that's really it for personal i want to get a tattoo but who knows if that'll happen this year. That's been on my goals list for the past like four years. So, And then my reading goals, we'll actually get into more of it when I show you my reading journal that I made, which is so cute. I can't wait to show you. I actually filmed myself creating it in the Patreon for like the highest tier. Sometimes I'll post extra videos and that was one of them. I had the best time doing it. I cannot wait for the end of each month to kind of go through it again and start creating and coloring and stuff. But all of them I feel like I've talked about before, but I want to try to read only my physical TBR. I don't really want to buy books unless I really want them. It's a new release or for a video stuff like that i don't want to make my physical tbr so large because it is getting overwhelming i want to kind of lessen that and then i have my reading goal which i actually set the other day on goodreads to 100 books i did 100 because i don't want to force myself to read books i feel like i'm going to be dnfing a lot more this year i wrote on my goal set if i know the book can't be over a three star and i don't want to see it through i'm not going to like i'm going to dnf it i'm going to try to normalize dnfing with myself because i always feel like i have to finish the book especially if it's for a video and i'm not enjoying it finish it just to give like a final review but if i get 50 60 of that book and it's gonna be a two star that i know i'm not gonna enjoy i'm gonna dnf i also just want to finish up series find more authors listen to more books i've been loving audiobooks this morning when i was doing my laundry i was listening to powerless by lauren roberts and that's been really fun that's really the majority of the goals that i've set for myself this year i feel like they're the same or on the same range as i've had the past year or two so it's nothing too crazy or too unattainable just things that'll make me feel better and to try to stick to and we'll see at the end of the year if i have now let's go through a little bit of a notion tour this should be fun i didn't really change up too much like it's the same setup that i've had destiny actually made this for me when we first met so shout out destiny she is the queen of notion and everything i know about this website and app is because of destiny and that's how i keep up with my entire life is through this website and it's also an app on the phone but my first welcome page this is what it looks like i have my reading goal over here which i don't know why it says 20 every time i finish a book i'm just gonna go over here and click the little plus sign so we know but i haven't finished a book yet this year so over here is table of content so if i click one of these it'll take me to the tabs on the left and then i have a playlist to listen to music and then my birthday countdown underneath that I thought was fun. So let's click on weekly to do. This is literally the page that I use the most other this and the one underneath it. I use every single day. I just put in everything I have to do work wise, filming wise, personal, like everything goes in here. I'm always updating it. I'm always checking it off. I love this page. And then underneath that is my YouTube page. This one has my calendar for YouTube. I did get a planner that I want to set up today, but I'm not too good at writing things down physically. Like having it on my computer and my phone is best for me. So these are just like uploads. So like if I click this, I actually have to reset this one up, but scrolling down, it tells me the upload that I put up, date I put the video up and it kind of tracks my videos like that and then going down, it's just my calendar. I put when I want to start filming them, when I want to upload them. I do this at the end of every month for the beginning of the next month and it kind of just helps me set things up. And then the very bottom of this page I have all of my video ideas and I do have a tab that says video ideas but I don't know. They're kind of in separate places. I just like write down randomly video ideas when I think of one. Yeah and then monthly reads. I have not updated this yet because again I haven't finished one but if I click the first one and scroll down, down here I would write the book I read, the rating and then monthly tbr is the same setup as that one this one actually destiny made magnolia parks themed which is pretty cute but scroll down write the book and my tbr which i haven't picked my tbr for january either i have lots to do and then we have books to buy which i haven't really updated this since early last year again video ideas is the same it kind of just has the ideas that i have and then posted filming like i kind of just in progress what i'm doing then series to finish i have not updated this either but i have to do that i kind of just check off as i'm going through the series if i've read them or not not. And then 2024 goals, like I just said, it's exactly what we just did. And I put if it's personal, work, or reading. That is my notion. That is literally what I use every single day of my life to keep myself organized. Let's see, this is the first one. I have no idea where it's from. Oh, I think this is the crochet kit. Okay, so I randomly just searched up crochet kit for beginners, and this is the first one that I found. It says ages 12 plus, which is exactly what I need. And I think I got the coffee. Yeah, I, or is that hot chocolate? Is that what I got? I don't really remember. It's from Mawai. I think that's the one I got. It's like a little coffee, but I have no idea. We're gonna try this maybe some other day, but would love to start crocheting. Like, that's one of my goals for the year. I just think it's so cute. I have so many little crocheted pieces that I wanna learn myself. To do it. Aww. 
Wait, that is so cute. Bestie at Sorry Hayes Shop is her at on Instagram and Etsy. She has a website as well, but she sent me a little Christmas gift. <laughs> she is so sweet. Okay, let's see what it is. <gasps> she has some of the like best stickers and she sent me like Polaroid stickers that are my favorite. Last time she sent me stickers, she sent me a Polaroid of Harry and it looks like as if I took the Polaroid of him. Okay, I'm dying at this. Oh my gosh, it literally looks like I took these Polaroids of him and I print them, printed them out. This point of view is not well for my mental health. She has the cutest stickers, like the little Polaroid type of ones that I have on my Kindle case come from her shop and they're just so cute. <gasps> There's a Taylor one. Look how cute. They're just like mini little Polaroids that are just like the most perfect size, especially for Kindle cases. I love you to the moon and to Saturn. Oh, it's so adorable. Thank you, bestie. That was like the best package to open ever. I love stickers. And I'm gonna keep this card that you sent me forever. And these Polaroids of Harry are literally iconic this one i think actually no idea oh wait i do okay you guys need to shop on this girl's site i believe it's from etsy so i purchased two shirts from her and then she sent me two and they are the cutest designs ever i'm gonna link all of this stuff down below but you guys need to shop from her site she has the cutest stuff you're gonna die when you see it i can't show you one of them because it's for someone so i can't put it in the video but it's so cute so this is the first sweatshirt it says written by emily henry but look how cute the little bows and cherries and stuff is around it. it is literally the cutest design ever and she has where you can do it with any author i believe you can kind of customize written by whoever you want. This is what I saw first and I was like, oh, I immediately, immediately need this. It says she's got a book for every situation and look at the little bear in the chair. Are you kidding? And that has been my Instagram bio for maybe two or three years now. How adorable. It's so soft. How's the weather parked? How cute. The little rain is in colored hearts. I love so much. That is so cute. The cutest stuff ever and she is so incredibly sweet and kind and I'm so excited to put that on when I get changed eventually out of my pajamas. I think this is a book. Oh, this this is from Penguin Random House, an arc of You Know What You Did. Ooh. That cover is very interesting. What is this? When a prominent art patron goes missing, the investigation zeroes in on Annie. Oh, so this is a thriller. Oh, have fun. Thank you. So this last big package, I cannot open up because it's for another video. So you're gonna have to wait probably two weeks to see what's in this package. And then you'll understand why I can't show you. But this was so fun coming home and opening packages. I saw them last night. I was like, no, I have to wait to open them together. I put on my sweatshirt. Do you guys like it? Written by Emily Henry. Okay, we're gonna make a mood board now. I think I'm just gonna make it on Canva. I have some stuff like pinned on Pinterest and like a secret, not a secret, what's the word? Private board. But we're gonna make it together. crochet, friends, drinking more water, reading. I do want to like not scrapbook but like kind of keep everything together like if I take Polaroids or little letters I have, concerts, I want to get over my fear of flying. I love vision boards because they're so personal to whoever does it but they're also just like the visual aestheticness of it I think is just so sweet. So here's my vision board. I don't know if I'm going to print it just yet. Maybe I will. Why did I think this was gonna be easy? I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I'm gonna have to watch a lot of videos on how to do this. I used to know how to crochet when I was younger. I don't know, it was different than this. And I have no idea what I'm doing. So I don't know why I thought this would be a good first crochet, but my goal is to learn how to do this and I'm gonna learn, so. Maybe not right now. I thought this would be fun.
Hello guys, it is now the next morning. Yesterday, I ended up just filming my video. I did a lot more of my laundry. My bed is now remade. I got rid of all of the Christmas decorations because I feel like New Year, those are now put away for next year, next December. But I have my Brooklyn in sheets on. I will never get rid of them. I seriously don't know if I could sleep with another duvet cover because I'm obsessed with how soft it is. So I put the white one on. Maybe I just need new throw blankets for my bed and definitely more throw pillows because with my Christmas ones, I've really liked the two little holiday ones in the front. So now I kind of want to just get cute ones for the front but i woke up a little stuffy so i made some tea my throat is a little bit sore i have some green tea some honey I'm gonna try to drink that also like i said i wanted to go food shopping and like get some food for like the new year start off the week and i wanted to make a few things that i saw on tiktok that healthy stuff i wanted to try see if i like so i actually ended up doing that yesterday i want to show you what i made and we're gonna try it together because i'm kind of hesitant <laughs> So the first thing that I made was chia pudding. Now I've made this before. I've tried it. I absolutely hated it. It's a texture thing. I have a texture problem, but the texture of this is insane and the flavoring I didn't like. So I tried it again yesterday and I added different things to try to, I don't know, sweeten it. It doesn't look like it did what it was supposed to, but I put in chia seeds, milk, vanilla extract as like a flavor. And I actually put in some chocolate protein powder, just like a little bit because I heard that gives it flavor and also some protein. I literally don't know, but I really want to try it and see what happens. I heard that if it's not good to put some granola on it we're gonna try it just as it is it's like the least appetizing thing i've ever seen in my entire life like it does not look good chia seeds if you've never had them when they're dissolved in any type of liquid they expand and they become like squishy instead of just like hard i guess you could say they literally become like this weird texture and i actually don't hate it with the protein powder it actually tastes good because it has a chocolate flavor it's just a texture thing i have to get over but i kind of would eat this with some granola it's really not as bad as i thought texture is freaky like Look at this. Like, I know that doesn't look appetizing. I also made this. Which I'm a lot more excited for. I saw this on TikTok a few times, actually. People were making it. And it's kind of like you put fruit or cut up fruit with yogurt and you freeze that. And then you dip it in like a chocolate and then you freeze that. And it becomes like this dessert, this fruit dessert. But I don't really like fruit. So I saw this girl do it with pomegranate seeds. And I love pomegranate seeds. So they don't look appetizing. This is what they look like. But I feel like we should try it. I don't know if I love that. It feels a little too frozen. I don't know. I'm gonna have my mom try these later and see what she thinks. That is what I've been up to. I guess I'll eat this. It honestly isn't as bad as I thought. I would make that again. I actually started reading Behind the Net this morning. We have our readathon in our book club today. It's 24 hour readathon. I started Behind the Net. I'm like 50 something pages in. And it's something that I really needed because I saw Anyone But You, the movie. And we need to talk about that for a second because I kept seeing online how rom coms are coming back because of this movie. And it ate so hard. I was giggling. The the entire movie like i think rom-coms do so good or like rom-coms that are so well known do so well because the chemistry is there glenn powell and sydney sweeney's chemistry ate so hard and was so good that it made the movie just that much better and even the cheesy parts like i thought was so funny the banter was so good the storyline was literally like out of a rom-com book like i knew where everything was gonna go it was just so good the side characters were so good his best friend was so funny best friend stepfather and the best friend were so funny the storyline was so entertaining it was something you think you would read from like an enemy to lovers fake dating trope book and i completely ate it up so as soon as i got home i needed to read a romance of any sort just like a not cheesy romance but i needed a romance i've been reading like more fantasies and rereading books and nothing has hit for me since i don't know glass like i don't even remember when i finished that but it's been so long and i don't even know what i'm looking for at this point but i started behind the net this morning 50 something pages in he is so down bad and i love that trope i love when the boy falls first and the boy is like protective and like little scene just happened where she's going to walk the his dog and she's his assistant he's in the nhl he's a hockey player and she's like i'm gonna go walk the dog i bring him to this park and i met this other dog that your dog likes to play with and the owner's name is whatever and he said i'm coming with you because it was a guy who she was like yeah we're not the same age he goes i'm coming with you she's like you usually nap right now and he was like i don't need i'm not tired i'm coming with you listen i needed just like a good old romance like this i'm also well i was listening to powerless by lauren roberts but i used up all my spotify time i had five hours left and i'm so upset about it so i'm gonna read the rest of that sometime this week i'm feeling better about the new year reset happening i'm just like since feeling sick and being away the first few days of the new year it feels so weird like since book miss i haven't like worked as much as i did throughout the whole entire year i took off like a few weeks i did post a couple of videos but not as many as i usually do and i was on such a role of working and my work lifestyle for my personal lifestyle and the combination of it all that taking those few weeks off really did something and now i just 
getting back into it is a little hard for me so i'm waiting for something to come in the mail so i can film my tbr video and then i think i'll feel better having a tbr set for the month start filming reading vlogs for the month it's just the beginning of the month has been a little iffy for me because i got back like the 4th of january and i felt like i was backtracking and i was like late to the game late to the new year reset game anyway i'm gonna go read now because i'm actually really enjoying the book and i really want to read more of it He's just so... <laughs> is protective the word? She said... Oh, I guess I can't say. It's kind of a spoiler, but she says something and he says... I don't... I can't say. It's like a little bit of a spoiler, but he's... I don't know. <laughs> Sure. She's got a book for every situation that I got yesterday. I'm obsessed with it. It is so comfortable and it fits so well. It's so cute and it fits perfectly with these little brandy pants. I'm obsessed. But I have my planner and my journal to show you guys since my reading journal for the year or just for the setup of it has been done. I'm going to show you what I've done so far. And then, like I said, at the end of each month, I'm just going to go through what I've done kind of throughout the month and put in pictures and different spreads. And then I'll show that probably at the end of each month. But I'm just going to show you what I've done. I think I did this in the beginning of December or middle of December. I don't really remember when I did it, but I had so much fun. I put on audiobooks and I just sat for hours cutting and pasting and doing creative things. So I honestly didn't think I would stick with this, but I'm so excited to continue it. And I feel like doing it once a month isn't too much. And I feel like it makes me want to do it. It gives me something to look forward to at the end of each month instead of like weekly having to fill it in or every day trying to get stuff in here. I feel like looking forward to doing this once a month is really nice. It was very like calming just sitting there and doing creative things. And I've had previous reading journals before but they were more like pre-filled having my own and like going through pinterest and being creative and coming up with my own ways to like fill it out and do my spreads was really fun i did not think i was going to be creative enough for it so i think if you don't think you would keep up with it or like doing it i think give it a try because sitting down with headphones on and listening to an audiobook or a podcast or something and just doing this it was so much fun so this one is from papier papier i don't know how to say it it's the forget me not bullet journal you can also customize it so on the front of it i wrote sarah crowley reading journal and it just has little forget me not flowers on the front and the back and now let's go through the spread so right when you open it we have kind of just like a page for myself it just says sarah's reading journal and i printed out different pictures and quotes and stuff for the front of it and i want to just have a page for myself before we really get into it and some of my spreads aren't the best but i think it's cute and it was fun to do then we have kind of like my reference page the rating system is over here and then some anticipated reads the new releases reading goals and then the key which you will see on a different page what the key is for and then this page are some of my six star reads i had so much fun doing this i got a printer and i was just having the time of my life printing things out and cutting them and gluing them so over here we have crooked kingdom slash six of crows love and other words beach read the throne of glass series as a whole but i printed out kingdom of ash powerless and magnolia parks so this is kind of again the whole series but i printed out the long way home powerless by elsie silver and the ballad of never after this was just literally so much fun to do and create then we have 24 books that i want to read in 2024 now obviously there's so many more i want to read these were just the ones that came to mind when creating this page so on this side it's just kind of like a checklist if i get to them and then on the side next to it are just printouts of the actual titles of the books on the side so it's more of a visual of all of the books that i want to read or some of the books that i want to read this year and then the next page are kind of like my tracker so like in the beginning the key with the different colors for each star rating are going to be in here so it's a four star i'll color this the four star color so that's my library and then here's a monthly tracker so say in january i read 10 books i'll color it up to 10 and i'll have kind of like a bar graph here is my series tracker i have like this empty page for more series i'm going to start this year but these are some that i'm in the middle of right now favorite books of each month i'm going to print out for each month maybe one or two if there's more than one and then over here is kind of like a reading challenge for myself it's kind of like the tbr prompts i wrote some out over here and then i'm just going to write the books that correlate to it if i get to these i'm not really going to hold myself to it but just if i do and then i have another challenge it's like an a to z reading challenge so if i read a book with that title i'm gonna put it into those little squares and then the last page is my january setup so 
I have this little January page and then the TBR eventually when I make one. A little quote, a little book stack, and then we'll start over here. So that's what my reading journal looks like. I don't really know the different prompts and different spreads I'm gonna do for January, but I'm so excited to get back into it because doing this was so much fun. And then I have my planner. This is just from Amazon. It's kind of just like a floral little planner. Hello? It's not morning. It's almost one o'clock. I laid in bed a lot this morning because like I said on my goal list, I wanted to relax on weekends, not force myself to get up, start working, start doing things. I want to just take time to myself on weekends. So I stayed in bed. I did my final load of laundry. I put all of my clothes away that were done from the laundry. So feeling better about that, that majority of my clothes are back in my closet. I cleaned up my room. My room is on a clean slate. Like I said, Christmas decor from the bed is gone. I put my bee blanket back on there, but it looks kind of plain. So I kind of want to, as our last step to refresh for the new year our fresh slate to the first week back of 2024 i want to clean up my room and do some stuff to my room just a little bit not like tweaking it too much but just adding just like a couple little things to make it feel cleaner i wrote down on my goals list a new little goal that i wanted because my closet's really clean right now and i'm able to like walk into it and i know after like two weeks of being home and just like going through my closet and whatever it's gonna be full and crazy and a mess i won't be able to walk into it so i wrote on my goals list i want my closet to be clean maybe i'll take one day out of the month to clean it get rid of some stuff and make sure it's looking nice because when my room and my closet are clean i just like mentally feel better and have like a clear headspace so that's now on my goals list and also my room to keep clean but i also want to find some pillows like in front of those white ones over there i feel like my bed looks boring right now so maybe we'll try to find some little white pillows or something like that for the bed i also finished behind the net last night like i said we had our readathon yesterday so i think i gave it like four stars i don't really remember honestly reading it i feel like there wasn't much of a plot i did love jamie the main guy it's just like a hockey romance it was a lot spicier than i thought too i did enjoy it i don't really have any thoughts right now on it but i did finish that i also finished my reread of powerless i was listening to the audiobook for majority of this because kai's voice actor for Kai's character is phenomenal. If you need an audiobook to listen to and you want to read this, like listen to Kai's voice. Or if you've read this and haven't heard his voice, please go listen to it. It's so good. The banter in voice acting is like top tier. It was so good. So I was so sad when I used up all my time, but I didn't have a lot left. So I just finished that up yesterday. And then I wanted to read more on my Kindle because I read Behind the Nut on here and I didn't really want to hold a book because I had a headache and I was using my new Kindle clicker that I got for Christmas. It's just like a Bluetooth little clip you put on here and you have like a little remote and I took a bath last night and I just put my Kindle on my little bath stand and I was just clicking away reading Behind the Nut. Ended up downloading and starting Crescent City 2, which is not what I expected to start, but kid you not when I tell you, I've Googled what is the ending to Crescent City 2 maybe 10 times. I haven't pressed enter or send or actually searched it, but I've typed that in an incredible amount of times because I am just so curious. I'm like on the edge of my seat itching to know what the end of this book is. I now have three weeks to finish it because this book is really thick and the first one took me a while to get through. It was pretty slow for me and I heard this one's also kind of slow. The third one comes out at the end of the month. I decided to start this and just kind of try to finish it and just try to get through it before the third one comes out. So I feel like now is the perfect time. I still haven't made my TBR yet. I'm gonna do it tomorrow, which is Monday fresh start to the week. I'm gonna film my TBR video, which I have a really exciting idea for that. I'm waiting for something to deliver to do that with. I don't know if that video is out before or after this, but I'm so excited for it. I don't have a TBR yet. That's why I've been reading just some random books, but the last step I think I want to do is just like cleaning up my room and like doing things for my room to like declutter. First, I want to buy like a cork board type of situation for next to my desk because I have so many cards that I've saved over the years and like letters that I've gotten from you guys when I get packages that I want to kind of like clipboard or put on a cork board and make kind of like a vision mood board I want to print out my actual 2024 vision board and put it on that I want to put next to my desk over there by my lamp that's what I want to do today I do think I'm going to go to Target see what I can find over there with like pillows and cork boards and everything and we'll fix up my room and that'll be the last step to starting out our week 
this week and resetting for the new year i'm already feeling better just having like a clean space having goals written down nothing too crazy and just having like things planned for the week and the month i'm feeling a lot better especially coming back from vacation thrown into a new year we're gonna start off 2024 tomorrow I 2024 started but for me like a new week tomorrow is starting i feel like i'm really stepping in to my 2024 like routine and everything really implementing my goals let's go do all that and clean up this room Corkboard, like you saw so i'll show you that in a second i left some empty space not enough but i did leave some empty space and maybe i'll get another one if there's not enough room when i get other things to hang up on it but i think it looks cute now i got this from target it's like a green and tan little what's that pattern called i don't know what that pattern's called but my bed is kind of giving springtime with the bees and the colors that's going on i'm kind of over the winter vibes i didn't want anything like blue because this is the vibe i have right now i still want a light blue comforter really bad so once i find one that i really like maybe i'll switch this out but for right now this is the vibe we're going for and i think it looks cute with this pillow i think the pillow made it look a lot better especially with my two little jelly cats on top i think it looks so cute here is my cork board i have a bunch of random things i put on it i've saved all of the little letters that i get from things like i said so i have little letters when people send me stickers or anything and i don't really use bookmarks too often so i thought i should put up some bookmarks i've gotten i have a bow one taylor swift ones there's like a few Magnolia Parks one. This one is Happy Place. And then I put up a few stickers, like Harry ones, bookmarked Polaroids things, and a few crochet things I thought were cute. Chris has a little sticky note here. It's not really sticking, so I need to put a pin on it. But up here, there's a little sticky note that says to do. So I'm going to write a little to-do list every day, and I can just take it off and switch it out every day, which I think is fun. But yeah, I think if I fill this up too much, I'm going to have to get another cork board somewhere else in my room. But I thought it was fun to make it like personalized, put cute stuff on it. That is the end of my reset vlog. I'm feeling great going into tomorrow. It feels like 2024 for me starts tomorrow. It's like the first full week since being back from Florida. So my room is clean. My laundry is done. My bed is made and has my new pillow that I love so much. My closet is clean. My goals are set. My notions ready. I have everything planned for the week and for the month. I have stuff I want to get done, not just the week and month, but also the year. Let me know any of your goals. If you want to share any or anything you want to learn this year, hope this motivated anyone that just wants to reset for the new year nothing crazy just a little refresh clean slate before the year really starts i don't know why i feel like tomorrow's the big day but the year's already started it's now i think the sixth or the seventh that's all for me from this video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you did and i will see you hopefully in the next one bye i say bye bye guys